Arsenal's over-reliance on Bukayo Saka is becoming a huge problem. Arsenal's over-reliance on the young English talent Bukayo Saka. The team's first loss of the season to Lens brought this issue into sharp focus, leaving many to question the wisdom of depending so heavily on one player, even if that player happens to be one of Europe's finest wingers. Arsenal's journey in the Champions League this season had been eagerly anticipated by their loyal supporters. Yet on that fateful night in Lens, as the French side secured a 2-1 victory, it was apparent that something was amiss. The fault lines in Arsenal's display could be drawn, for the most part, by Saka's involvement. Saka, a player who had been nothing short of exceptional, was on the verge of becoming the first player in Europe's top five leads to register five goals and five assists in all competitions this season. His contribution to the team cannot be overstated, and it is precisely this reliance on him that Arsenal must address urgently. Before the Lens encounter, Saka had started every single game for Arsenal this season, playing a staggering 683 minutes out of a possible 720 in a Premier League and Champions League. His streak of 87 consecutive Premier League games started speaks volumes about his importance to the team. However, this over-reliance on a single player raises questions about Arsenal's depth and rotation policy. While Saka's commitment and desire to play in every game are admirable, it is evident that the team's performance suffers when he is absent. In Lens, the statistics were telling. Saka accepts the ball 27 times in just 34 minutes, completing 16 passes. In contrast, Liam Trossard and Kai Havertz, who played longer, managed more touches and passes. It was a stark reminder that Saka's teammates need to step up and share the burden. To make matters more concerning, Saka's recent injury woes have not deterred Arsenal from starting him in crucial fixtures. This raises doubts about the club's decision-making and player management. Ateta, Arsenal's manager, explained that Saka's latest injury was caused by a back heel, an unfortunate incident that can happen to any player. Still, given Saka's recent fitness issues and the impending clash against Premier League champions Manchester City, the decision to start him must be questioned. Arsenal's struggles with over-reliance on Saka become even more apparent when compared to Manchester City's approach. City, a club known for its squad rotation and depth, had their most used player in a Premier League last season, Rodri, play 2,830 minutes. In attacking areas, there was significant rotation, the Bernardo Silva, Jack Grealish, and Riyad Mahrez sharing the load. This was achieved while having a successful Champions League campaign in parallel. Arsenal's return to Europe's premier club competition after six years should necessitate a more balanced approach to player management. The Lens defeat, though setback, is not the end of the world for Arsenal. Topping their Champions League group remains a realistic goal. However, achieving this may well hinge on Saka's performance as it often does. While Saka's commitment and excellence are undeniable, it is high time for Arsenal to address their over-reliance on the young winger, finding a way to share the burden and ensure the team's success doesn't rest solely on his shoulders. In conclusion, Arsenal's journey in the Champions League is a fascinating story, but it comes with a significant challenge. The over-reliance on Bukayo Saka is an issue that needs immediate attention. While Saka's dedication and skill are undeniable, Arsenal must find a way to prevent their fortunes from being solely tied to the young Englishman. Only then can they hope to compete at the highest level and tackle the giants of European football.